Shut up and sit down. Hello guys and welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm doing another Photoshop thing. It seemed to be well received, fairly, so I am going to be doing what was recommended to me in the last video, a gecko and a pug. My friend Tim from uh, Unity Anonymous recommended that I do this on the comments of the last video, so I decided I might as well. Uh, this is actually the second time recording this because I was using Action, and it just exploded. It crashed while recording. I was just about done with the recording, and it crashed. And uh, then I tried to just do it again. You know, just you know, re-record it. I mean, it was no big deal. It wasn't that long. And uh, yeah, it didn't work. Everything just kind of exploded. It didn't. Um. Oh God. Oops. It um wouldn't load, wouldn't record, it was just broken. And I reinstalled it and everything and it just it wouldn't work. So I uh, am now using Bandicam. <laughs> yeah. Good times, good times. Alright, so let's just flip horizontal so we can get this. The last time's video was like 13 minutes long and it was a bit longer than I would have liked because you know I don't want I don't think people really want to watch me over like too long just mess around in Photoshop, you know, there's a limit. Um Let's see, god damn it. Just fucking apply, yeah. This damn thing keeps hitting this top and I hate how it like auto goes to things and it pisses me off sometimes. Alright. That should be good. Yeah. Alright. So let's not limit to this. And now we're going to get the edge of this gecko so that Jesus Christ. This is the worst of this magnetic tool. I'm gonna get this gecko selected, and yeah. This is such a bitch. Oh, dear lord. Okay. Finally. Alright, now we're just gonna make a quick mask down here. So that way we can take out this little crappy liner there. Alright, and let's see if we can just fix around the edges a little bit. Alright. Yeah, because it's stupid... Stupid magnetic lasso tool is just a piece of crap. Because it like on these scales with the lines of each scale, it's just it's just a bitch. It sucks. All right, uh, let's do that. Really irritates me. It's just I don't know. All right, so yeah, that looks to be pretty good. We can always go over with an eraser at the end. All right, uh, actually, I'm gonna fix this right here. Alright, good enough. Click this again, and we now have our selection. Now we can inverse that selection and get rid of all of that stuff. Alright, now we can make our public visible again, and we'll have to go over here just so that we can erase all more over here. Alright, so we can erase everything like this, that way it's like you just see the pug. Yeah, alright. We are almost just about done. I hope this video is a bit shorter than the other one since the other one. I didn't want it to be too long, you know. Alright, let's see what happens if we just blend it here. Please work. Come on. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The colors are nice. The colors are nice. Now let's just merge these layers so that way we can use this nice little gem of a tool and try and blend what little we can do with this just for at least colors sake. Yeah. Alright, come on, what are you doing? It's just, it's, come on. Change it up a little bit. Alrighty then, fine, whatever. Yep, okay. Come on, I just want it to be like the, oh my god. This is annoying, proximity match. There we go. That's not what we wanted. I just want it to be a bit more like the pug skin around here so we can get more of a seam. That is not pug skin, that is not pug skin, you are ruining everything. Uh god damn it. I'm just get most of that and like in there. Yeah, there we go. Alright. It's just you gotta kinda trick it a little bit, you know. Uh it's irritating. Okay. Well I think that's actually pretty good. I think that worked out relatively well. Alright, well that I think we'll leave it at that in terms of blending and stuff. Yeah. Alright. Now I shall return momentarily while I just fix up these uh edges. 
Okay, we are done with that. We have all the edges nice and smooth, and now all is left is our space background and the name. I'm thinking Peko. It's kind of like there's not that much in terms of this because there's um. All right, so I'll shave it as a PNG. Uh, so Peko. Mm, I mean, it kind of sounds kind of weird, but the other one is uh, Gug, or maybe Gekug. <clears throat> it just kind of sounds weird. I'm honestly thinking maybe Pugeko. Uh, I'm thinking Peko. I think Peko sounds kind of cool. Yeah. All right. We're going with Peko. Sweet. All right. There is our Peko. So thank you for watching. Um, Hope you enjoyed the creation of our glorious Peko. Thank you, Tim, for the uh, suggestion. It's very, uh, turned out interestingly. Uh, very, very interesting. <laughs> this thing, this thing would be adorable. I want one of these things as a pet. I want a Chidna and a Peko as a pet now. That's, yeah. Or Rabidna. I mean, Rabidna even, that'd be even better. Alright, so thank you for watching. Like if you uh, enjoyed. Comment for any other ideas for combinations of animals or any other thing like that. Even other Photoshop tutorials if you want to know how to do something. And I could either figure out how to do it and make a video on it. Or if I already know how to do it. Considering everything I know in Photoshop I've taught myself. So, I mean, my knowledge is very precise, I guess you could say. It's uh, I, I miss out on a lot of things, you could say. Alright, so... Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. I try to post at least two times a week around that area now is what I'm going for. So yeah, I will see you in the next video.